Good morning Year 5 and welcome to your Monday Maths lesson with me, Miss Biggs. Can you please put today's date and learning objective? Today we're going to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. Then can you do your flashback for, pause the video, when you've done them, rejoin me and we'll look at the answers. Let's have a look at those answers. Change 11 thirds to a mixed number. How many threes fit into 11? 3, 6, 9. That's three of them, three whole times. To get from 9 to 11, we add on two more, two more thirds. Here, you're looking at the connection between the two fractions to make them equivalent. So 10 times 3 is 30. We do the same to the numerator. 7 times 3 is 21. Number 3, the answer is 1,155. On number 4, she has £27. She spends £4.50, so we do a subtraction to find out what money she has left, which is £22.50. And the time on the clock is 4.15am, PM, or 0.4.15 hours if it's in the morning, 16.15 if it's in the afternoon. Let's have a look at our learning for today, where we're going to convert fractions, uh, mixed numbers into improper fractions. Get ready to learn. Here are your first three questions, just to warm up our skills from last week. Pause the video, have a go, and come back to me. Let's have a look at those answers. Write the fraction as an improper fraction. As you can see, each bar, each whole bar is split into three. Here I've got one, two, three of them, and one more makes four thirds. Here, what's each one split into? Quarters. And how many quarters do I have? Four, eight, and one more, nine. Nine quarters. Number three, complete the part whole models. So one part is five fifths, second one is three fifths, and together they make eight fifths. Here I know the total, and I know one part is six sixths. What would I need to add to it to get to eleven sixths? You should have five sixths. Well done if you got those answers. Let's learn how to use those skills today in our work. Have a look. Each bar has been split into how many pieces? Two, so they are halves. And then how many pieces do I have? One, two, three of them. So we would write that as I have three halves. This is what we call an improper fraction, if you remember from last week. An improper fraction is where the numerator, here, is greater than the denominator, here. Here, we've got two of those halves, and that makes one whole. And here, we've got one more half. So we can see that three halves is equal to one whole one and one half. This part here is called the mixed number. It's a mix of whole ones and fractions left over. So it's a mixed number. Have a look here. I've got two whole ones and the other part is one quarter. How would I write that as a mixed number? That's right, two whole ones and one quarter. What if I split my whole ones into here? That's right, quarters. How many whole ones do I have? One, two, there it is. And here I've got one more quarter. So that's two whole ones and one quarter. There's my two whole ones. And you can see here, one whole one is split down into quarters. So I have four quarters right there. Here, I've got another four quarters. And here, I have one more quarter. Now, if I add them up on the numerators, four, add four, add one, makes nine. So I have nine quarters. Pause the video and have a look at this one in a moment. Convert the mixed number, which is here, to an improper fraction. 
So each whole one is split into eight pieces. Your eight times table might help you here. Pause, have a go. Let's have a look at the answer. So here I've got eight eighths. And here I've got another eight eighths. And here I've got another eight eighths. And here I've got another five eighths. So if we look at the numerators, eight at eight at eight, well that's three times eight. Can you see the connection? Three times eight. And then I'm adding five more on. Three times eight and add five more on. And we have 29 eighths. Your turn, please, to have a go at questions one to two on the worksheet. I'd like to show you how I'd like you to record that in your book, please, neatly. Don't forget that this page is on here in case you want to come back and look at it at any time. Your layout, you will need to cut neatly and then stick using the squares in your book as a line guide. Here, I'd like you to cut and stick and then return with your answers. When you've completed, come back for your next section. Let's continue with our next part. We're going to convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions based on what we've been learning. Here you can see I have built my fraction. This is a really good technique. So here each piece has been split into six, one whole one split into six equal pieces. I need five of those whole ones, one, two, three, four, five. And then I need one more sixth after I've built all my whole ones. So here it is. Here we can see that we've actually got five times those six six. So we can do five times six, that makes 36 altogether. And then I add this one more on. This one more added on makes it up to 31. 5 times 6 is 30, add 1 is 31. Let's have a look at that. So 5 whole ones is 36, because 5 times 6 is 30. Then we're adding one more sixth on, which is this part of our mixed number, and that makes 31. Pause the video and have a go at converting these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Let's look at how you did. So in the first one, two and four fifths, we can see we've got two whole ones, so that's two times five makes 10. And then I've got my four fifths to add on at the end. So my 10 fifths add four fifths makes 14 fifths. On this one, we've got 10 times six six, because that's 10 whole ones. 10 times six is 60. 66 and I'm going to add five more on so I have 60 add five more on is 65 sixths your turn please to have a go at the rest of the questions on your worksheet I'd like you again to cut and stick into your book nice and neatly using the lines to guide you remember you can always draw any of them to help you do your working out. When you've done that, red challenge for anyone who is ready, but definitely red group. You're going to stick each challenge into your book, then show your working and explanation at the side. So you read, and then I've given you some sentence starters to support you to record your answers. On this one, it says how many different possibilities can you find for each equation. So it is not just find one and that's the end. You need to find as many as you can. I suggest using a systematic approach. For example, starting at one eighth and one fifth, then build to two and a two and so on. Think how high you can go in a mixed number. Use that to support you to record your answers. Good luck and I'll see you for tomorrow's learning. Goodbye.